Hey everybody, I'm Ken Brandt and I'm an artist. In this time lapse video, I'm going to show you how I painted this face with these apples. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. And as always, make sure you subscribe. Until the next video, bye bye. I started this still life with the idea of doing something relatively simple but yet classic. And I figured a vase with some apples was the way to go. So I went to the store and I bought the fabric that I used for the background and it was a green that I really, I didn't have many choices of different colored greens. So I went with this green, it was um, not as dark as I would have liked, but it wasn't uh, as bright as um, some of the other greens they had. I mean, they had some you know, neon fluorescent type greens that I just didn't want. So I ended up going with this fabric for the background. And I went to the store and I picked up the apples. And these are uh, Fuji apples and they're relatively colorful. They have a lot of green and red in them and that's what I wanted. And the base that I used is um, kind of like a creamy white. And uh, I figured this would pose for some decent reflections. So I set up my setup, uh, my still life with uh, a light and once I started painting it, I realized that um, perhaps my choice for the fabric color in the background may not have been the best of choices. But it didn't matter at this point. I'm going to paint it and that's what I did. So the background color that I used, I went with um, cadmium yellow and ultramarine violet to mix in with the cadmium yellow to darken it up and they used the more ultramarine violet for the shaded areas and for the highlighted areas of the fabric I just went with almost straight cadmium yellow I used no titanium white whatsoever in the background and these are the colors that you're seeing here and it's a, a muted green basically. So for the apples I put in some raw umber for the uh, darkened areas, the shaded areas of the apples and you're seeing uh, some cadmium red mixed in with some raw umber for the red areas. And for the green areas, I went with the phthalo yellow green. And for the darkened, you know, to darken up that color, I just used raw umber mixed in with it. But the amazing part that I learned from doing this painting is that phthalo yellow green with raw umber looks to very much like cadmium yellow mixed with ultramarine violet. It's, I just, had no idea that the two colors were going to be so similar. So my apples are almost the exact same color as my background. So I was a little disappointed with that. So what I'm going to do with this painting, and I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do like a separate video with a couple different paintings on how I'm going to improve those paintings with the skills and things that I've learned up to this point. So with this painting, what I'll do is I want to take some Viridian Green because it has, Viridian Green has a blue um, uh, color base to it. So I know that's a much cooler color. My apples are very warm. So I figure if I cool down that background, the apples will really stand out, I think, in this painting. So that's what I'll do. I'll do a separate video. I'll use this painting and there's a couple other paintings that I want to do some changes to that I think I can make these paintings better. So I'll just put those in a separate video on how to improve a painting that you've already painted. 
I was very happy with the way the base came out. The highlighted area um, really looks nice. It's very soft. And uh, what I used here was a mixture of um, titanium white and some variations of that green in the background. I put a little bit of that in there and for the um, softer shaded areas I have a touch of Payne's Gray mixed in with it also. So for that really dark area on the one side of the base that is pretty much like ultramarine violet with um, a little bit of the cadmium yellow mixed into it so it made it real dark. I had to go back and rework the bottom of the base a little bit. The reflections from the fabric on the table that it was sitting on, I wasn't too happy with the way it was reflecting in the base, the way I was painting it. It wasn't quite what I was seeing. So at the very end of the painting, I do some final touches on that and I really make it look, um, I was very happy with it when I was done with that. The apples came out uh, great. I was very pleased with the apples. Um, usually when I paint apples, they're not too bad. I usually do really good with the apples. I love mixing the greens and the reds together and phthalo yellow green is one of my favorite greens to use on the apples because you can really do some variations of it and it blends so nice with the cadmium red. I love working with that color. What I did on the uh, for the highlights for the apple is I did not paint any paint onto the canvas and those where I was going to put those highlights. I already kind of knew where I was going to have those highlights. So that is just plain canvas that you're seeing right there. And then I do go over with the, that with some uh, mixture of the titanium white and just a hint of that green mixed in there. So it's not a pure titanium white for the highlights. But all in all, I was very pleased with this painting. It's a nice, nice painting. It's just these, the color of that background and how similar it is to the color of my apples. That is driving me crazy. So I will fix that. And like I said, we'll do a video and uh, we'll, we'll see the improved painting on that. So if there was anything about this particular still life painting that you saw that you needed some further explanation on, please make sure to leave it in the comments below and I will make sure to answer those questions and address them in future videos.